Hey everyone, Fred the Pilot here. Uh, sorry I haven't been in a video in a few weeks. Uh, kind of started off strong there and kind of slacked off. I uh, really was trying to figure out what kind of format I really want to do. And um, also we've just been really busy with things with with things that look just like you're seeing now. Snow. My, I don't think my daughter's had school since January 16th and it's February 3rd because of snow and cold and gas leaks. But uh, anywho, just thought I'd give you guys a uh, quick heads up on, uh, you know, I think I'm going to do kind of a combination between the, you know, where have I been videos and maybe some, just some, maybe some general vlogging, if you will. But uh, today is uh, actually day five, if you will, of my tour. I took the first four days off for vacation uh, to attend uh, my daughter's dance competition she had over the weekend. So now it's, uh, what day is today? Today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'll go out until, I'll come home Friday. So Monday through Friday. And as you can see, here comes another car. And we're gonna slow her down. There we go. So day one, and uh, this is what we're having to contend with to get to work. Now, the company I work for, they're pretty good about, you know, if you call them, which I did call them this morning, say, listen, there's no way I can get down the road. The snow's just too deep. They they were they were fine with that, but uh, so I waited a few hours for the sun to come up, and hopefully the state road would come out and do some plowing of the roads, which which obviously they haven't. Um, and so, so we're contending with. Once I get onto the main road out here, have a little bit better look, cause we got about a about an hour. Well, with no snow on the road, we got about an hour and. 50 to 45 minute, you know, 45 to 50 minute drive to get to our, our Pittsburgh airport, which is our base. And um, if the road main roads are like this, uh, we're probably looking at three hours. So we're just gonna have to wait and see how it looks when we get down here. We'll come back and we'll give you a we'll give you a shot of it, see what it looks like. Well, alrighty, we made it down to the main road, and as you can tell, it's been plowed. <laughs> but that's it. There's no cinders as far as I can see. There's no salt. My understanding is the county is out of salt. I don't know how they can't plan for that, but whatever. What do I know? So it's good for about, we're doing about 25, 30 miles an hour. It's about good for that. Yeah, that's 30 right there. I wouldn't be any comfortable going any faster than this. It's not real slippery, but you got to stop in a hurry. Well, leave yourself some time. As all this good pilots know, leave yourself an out. So we're gonna get some gas, and then uh, we're heading up into Pittsburgh. And yeah, if the road stays like this, then we're looking at a good three hours, or maybe a little bit more. But uh, hopefully, once we get the next county up, which is just a little bit up the way here, they uh, generally do a much better job with the road, keeping the main road cleared. So, and I may even jump over into Ohio because they even do better normally. So, we'll see. Play by ear. Well, we hopped over to the Ohio side. And as you can tell, the roads are much better. I don't know why Ohio is better at it than we are in West Virginia, but they just are. So, we're zipping right along here, 55 miles an hour. Uh, good road conditions. At least in the right lane. Left lane's not all that great yet. But uh, I'm going to throw a couple of uh, little clips in here right after this uh, to show uh, coming down my hill. Um, so this would actually be before I started making the vlog, but uh, I just thought you guys might find it interesting. Alright, here we go. Got the car up out of the driveway. Up onto the uh, main road here. And we're stuck already. Hmm. Nope, we're stuck. Come on. Hang on. All right, we got moving. This is what we're looking at here. As you can see, nobody's been on the road. There's about six inches of snow. And, uh, pretty slick. So we got about another, I don't know, half a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile 
This is where it gets deep, where it drifts. Although we didn't have a lot of wind, so the drifts aren't that bad. It looks like somebody did come out earlier, so they're helping me a little bit with directional control. <laughs> there we go. All right, here we are. This is the main highway. <laughs> the main road coming down from where we live, so yeah, they haven't done nothing to it. So we're gonna slip slide. It's about a thousand foot drop. So I better go. Yeah, you might not be able to tell from the video here, but we're pretty steep downhill here. The road goes down here, makes a switchback. We already made one at the top of the hill. This is getting down towards the bottom. As you can see, nothing's been done to these roads. They are slicker than snot. But we're just taking her nice and slow here. And uh, kind of take it wide. It's a little less steep. And try to stay off into some of the thicker snow. Seems to get better grip there. We're going to make this turn and head back down that way. Hopefully. With any luck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here. Oop, got a car coming. Now we got to go wide. So we're going to come out wide here. Alright, there we are down the hill. Uh, flat bottom part. We're down in the Ohio River Valley, if you will. As you can see, yet nothing. That's then done to the road. She is completely covered. Snow, ice, and slush. But we shall forge ahead because we must get to our assignment. And we will, regardless. We're like the mail. We're like the US mail. Alright, here we go. I'm hoping we don't lose power. See all the, see all the uh, ice on the lines there? Flowers flickered a couple times today, and if power goes out, my wife and daughter are going to be frozen. But uh, what are you going to do? All right.